Hi guys, you guys asked for a reattachment video and here it is. And here's just a little recap for those of you who are new to my channel. Yes, I did cut off my locks. I big chopped. I didn't comb them out. I didn't trim them. I just chopped them off. Um, had a lot of, a lot of mixed reactions to that, but that's okay. I cut them off because I wanted to, so it's all good. Um, my husband helped me and he's so supportive and I loved having short hair but I got to a point where this was about three months after the big chop and I put braids in and I was like, you know what? I'm going to reattach my locks. So I, um, I'm going to show you how I did that. First, I gathered my locks and got my tool. I used a double needle crochet tool to reattach my locks. You can look in the description if you want to order some crochet tools. Um, so yeah, this is three months, probably two less than three months, maybe two months um, of growth. And then I was like, let me reattach my locks. I missed them. So I did my braids in a pattern that um, I could re just reattach my locks to. So I kept my braids in for a good I believe this was a good week or two weeks, something like that. So it, it, it had reached the time for me to wash my hair. So it was a perfect time to put my locks back in so I could go ahead and wash them um, as well. So this is basically what I did. I gathered up my little short hair, my hair. I don't know what, what length it is. I don't recommend reattaching on this length though. I don't recommend it. So basically I am just meshing my new grow hair that's on my head. I'm meshing it with the hair in my lock that I just loosened up and I'm using the crochet tool to do it. So it's just an in and out motion and it's really hard to show this because I, I need my fingers to apply the tension to the hair to help, well not tension, the pressure to the hair to help the needle, to help guide the needle through. But it's pretty much an in and out motion and I'm twisting the hair as I'm doing it. I'm forming and giving it shape and meshing it into the lock. That is all I'm doing. It's just really repetitive. I probably did 50 to 100 strokes per um, attachment because I'm trying to get it to be very secure, especially being that my hair is much shorter. So that's why I say I don't recommend reattaching locks onto hair this short, especially if the locks are super long. It's not gonna be a good support and um, lock, lock extensions even, I don't recommend attaching to hair this short. I'm doing it because I, I do this for a living really, so it's really easy for me to sit there and do that, and if something was to happen or if it was to uh, have some slippage, I could easily pull out my needle and do it. So if that's you, go right ahead. I mean, I, I'm not telling anyone what to do, so here, as you can see, that's like a preliminary attachment. So I'm gonna go back in and refine it some more because you can see that lump still in there. You can see the point of attachment. It has to be seamless. So pretty much I keep going until it's seamless. It's starting to be a little seamless and now it is seamless. I did a little retwist test on it to see what it looks like and that that's it. That's all I did to reattach my locks. And I did this over the course of a week or so. I didn't do it in one sitting. Um, I just, every time I felt like it, I would take one lock, take one braid out and then add a lock to it. So at one point I had the back of my hair in my locks and then I had the front of my hair in braids and nobody could really tell until it started to be too much and I just did the rest in one sitting. So this is the first row that I'm starting to do. This was two rows right here. And this was the finished product. I washed my hair and I did a, I braided them into, I braided them into plaits. And this was another style that I did. The next time I washed my hair, I did a bun. It was really beautiful, but after being bald for so long, it was just like, oh my goodness, this is so much hair. I didn't realize my locks were that long. Um, and even having 68 locks, they don't feel that heavy, but reattaching them to really short hair, I felt the weight. And this is a few months after reattaching them. 
they're still in. I didn't lose any. Nothing was slipping or anything like that. So that was good. But the length of the locks, to me, I, as you guys know, length doesn't matter to me. Long hair doesn't really matter to me. So I trimmed them to see if, you know, I'm happier with the length. But then as I told you guys, I loved it. I loved having it back. I was like, okay, I got my fix. And I cut them off again. <laughs> and I'm starting, I started a whole new journey. I am over a month in right now so my one month update will be uploaded soon and as much as I loved my old locks and loved my old lock journey I wanted something new um I wanted something new I still have my old locks I can reattach them again if I want to but and I loved having short hair having my locks back in made me realize how much I wanted to have short hair it's crazy. If you're not a hairstylist, you don't get it. You're just like, oh my God, girl, make up your mind. Do you want the locks? Do you not want the locks? Um, I'm a hairstylist. So um, before I actually locked my hair, I used to do something different to my hair every two weeks. Every two weeks I had a different style in. So this is nothing new to me. Five years into my lock journey, I was on a mission to get my locks thicker. And mission accomplished. You guys can go back and watch my whole entire one year of not retwisting, um, semi-free forming whole thing. Um, and that actually accomplished it. So I guess it was a sense of completion, a sense of feeling accomplished that I was like, okay, I can go on to another set. Um, but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my reattachment, little reattachment snip, snippet I was able to share with you. And stay tuned for my one month lock update. And remember, don't limit yourself. Bye guys.